God, we're so stupid in this country. We do stupid things. We do stupid things. And because of these stupid things and stupid people, we got to put up stupid caution signs all over this country. That's the next thing that happens because so many people screw things up. We put up warning signs. I was driving around. There's a sign in the suburbs on a street. It said, caution, blind child. <laughs> We actually put up a sign that says, caution, blind child, because obviously we aren't smart enough to know if there's somebody in the street, don't hit that person. We had to put up a sign letting us know, and it's only blind kids. If he's not blind, smack the shit out of him. That's fine. It's only blind kids we're concerned with at this point. Because you know what happened, it happens all the time, somebody hit a blind kid one day, the family legally, rightfully tried to sue this guy, this guy got a lawyer and our shitty judicial system to stand up and say, your honor, there was no sign in the street saying there might be a blind kid playing out there. And the judge was like, that's a valid point, so we just stamped him stupid, we put up the sign, and now we gotta deal with it. There should be a sign. I agree there should be a sign, but put up the sign that makes sense. Caution irresponsible parents that don't take care of their children. That's the sign that should be up there. Thank you. Because it makes sense. It's smart. What is a blind kid doing in the front yard? I mean, I'm in favor of equal opportunity. I want the blind kid to live. Why the fuck would you let a blind kid in the front yard? Put him in the backyard where you have a fence or a leash or a zap collar or something. <laughs> a containment that people are owing. I don't mean a zap collar the cruel way that you guys do. I'm talking about a two-way system. There's an invisible fence. The kid wears a bracelet. The parent wears the collar. If the kid goes too far past the fence and the parent's in the house, it zaps his fat ass to get off the couch and go take care of his kid. And now I'm the hero. <laughs> but we, we just put up stupid signs. We don't think. We got to flush out some idiots. We don't think. We just put them up there. A sign in the elevator that says, in case of fire, take stairs. If you don't know that, take the window head first. What are we doing? Who are these people we're protecting, right? A sign, you go to the, go to the bathroom, there's a sign, go to, go to the porto potty bathroom, an outdoor bathroom, there's a sign above the sink, it says, this water is not intended for cooking. <laughs> Fuck me, really? <laughs> a porto potty sink? And, it, and, and the, the warning of it, it's not, not that it's not intended for drinking, cooking in a porto potty sink. Who is going there with a pot boiling vegetables? <laughs> if they are, I know they're walking back to the tilt the world to finish their shift. I know that's what's happening. <laughs> we don't need to warn everybody about everything. Go to the bathroom, you go into the stalls now. We have toilet seat covers in the stalls. You guys have seen them, you've used them, right? We've all used them. You should all know how to use them, right? It's a toilet seat cover. It tells you in the name what it does. It's a toilet seat cover. Who couldn't figure that out? Somebody couldn't figure that out because there's a four step instruction process on those toilet seat covers. You follow me on that? Not one step, four steps of instructions on how to use an ass gasket, a toilet seat cover, four steps. This is what really fucking threw me over the edge. I read all four of these things. Here they are. Step number one, take the cover out of the box. Out of the box. You got that? You take the cover out of the box. You don't press your ass up into the wall, shit into the box, grab the box, dump it into the toilet, and put it back up. The cover comes out of the box. And you're holding like, Jesus, what do I do with this thing now? Do I ask the bathroom attendant? No, no. Step two, place it on the toilet seat. Oh, thank God. I used to just lick it and try and stick it to my ass. Just hope that it stuck by the time I made my way down there. I don't know what you guys would do till step two came along. I just keep it, oh man. And then it would start to flap over and I'd go to do it and my balls would hit the water. Then. I gotta keep going through multiple ones at a time and just... We're not gonna save the trees with that kind of paper waste. <laughs> 
step three was genius, because we all needed this help. Tear out the middle piece. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, man, you, you tear it out. You don't fill it up till it busts through on its own. <laughs> it's not a carnival game. Like, well, that didn't break, buddy. You don't win the prize. Go check your fiber. It's not a Folgers fart filter. It's a toilet seat cover. Tear out the middle piece. <laughs>